2021. You made it. Any other year. I feel like that would have been a weird thing to say. But no, 2020 was pretty ruthless. So seriously, no joke, round of applause for yourself. I know we're all grateful to still be here and be in good health. Me personally, I just want to take the time to thank everybody who joined our kingdom collective thing that we have going on here. I, it's awesome. You're awesome. I appreciate you. So it's the start of a new year, new EDC. Let me show you what I'm working with. I know some of you guys love these videos. Some of you guys could care less. All right, to be noted, these are just things I keep on my body. I would say 90 to 95% of every day. That's technically what I consider EDC. I do, however, have a Rush LBD duffel bag that I carry about 80% of my life, pretty much just to work and back, but it has a lot of my other tools. And to all of my survival experts, this EDC is definitely not for you. I don't even have a glass breaker. Effective survivability, two and three quarter minutes. First things first, counts as a hundred different things, my phone. It's 69 degrees outside. Perfect, perfect timing, I'm perfect, perfect. Yep, can't make this up. So my wife and I, we used to get the flagship phones every single year. I felt like sometimes twice a year, whatever the newest Note was or the newest Galaxy or even back when we were on the iPhones, we used to do that. And then something clicked and we we're like, why are we doing this? Do we buy a new TV every year? Do we buy a new car every year? Do we buy a new gun? And we do buy new guns every year. But we realized how ridiculous it was to buy the newest flagship phone every year. Even just paying it off every month kind of seemed ridiculous. So now we usually just buy two year old phones and we buy them flat out for like, God, 30% of what they were initially when they were launched. Pretty much brand new phones, just a year or two old. And we save a lot of money that way. And then we don't have to pay for them on the plan either. This is actually the Note 8. So we're due for an upgrade. I've had this for like two and a half years, maybe, maybe three. The next thing up is my wallet. And you guys have seen this one before. This is the Fidelo Hybrid. I showed you guys this one in my wallet EDC. While this is definitely bigger than the other Fidelo Edge wallet that I was carrying, I gotta say, I'm falling in love with this one just based solely off of the convenience and I am so quick with this wallet. It's just convenient, man keeps you organized. I love it. And to the team over at Fidelo, if you guys are watching this, I promise you I'll get back to you. Last year was really crazy, especially for our industry, but I will be getting back to you. So now on to my favorite EDC item, probably just because I've been carrying them the longest. It's hard for me to remember a time when I wasn't carrying one of these, even in school, is a uh, pocket knife. I've showed you guys this one before. This is the Ontario Rat 2. It it's easily, I mean, easily become my favorite knife um, just based on how light it is. It's an ounce. Um, it's super sharp. Ergos are amazing. Uh, and it's just so small. It, it's, it's literally the perfect. I've said this before and I don't want to say it insulting to the knife, but it's probably my favorite beater knife that I've ever used. You know what? Forget that. It's my favorite knife that I've ever used. I will be going to try a paramilitary three or two. I definitely want to try the two. So I'll probably be getting one of those shortly. But to be honest with you, I the Ontario Rat 2. If you guys don't have one, just go ahead and buy one. It's they're super affordable and they work. They do actually make this in better steel. I'll probably get that. I think it's D2. I'll probably get the better steel one eventually, but yeah. Next up, the item that if I leave home without it, it ruins my whole day. My headphones. These are Empow M9s. Uh, 
in Air's Bluetooth. So a lot of you may not know, I was a sound engineer in a previous life. Uh, and I mean, the best speakers, the best monitors, headphones that you could possibly have, I've heard them all. And um, audio fidelity has diminishing returns, as do most things, but especially in, when it comes to audio fidelity. So these are actually really good, affordable uh, Bluetooth in-ears that obviously they just won't break the bank and they, they sound good and I mean they work, they work really, really well. I've actually purchased these for my entire family for the past, I don't know, two years, two or three years, from the Empow Flames to my wife, she uses the M30s, I use the M9s. So if you haven't checked them out yet, I definitely recommend you check out Empow's lineup of headphones. They are really, really good, uh, really well rated, um, really well reviewed, just really good headphones on just check them out, especially if you don't want to get into that, like I said, that audio fidelity price gouging war that's been going on since forever. Fun fact, I try to keep my situational awareness somewhere between condition yellow and orange. I think that's a good place for everybody to be without being overly, you know, paranoid. Uh, so I never actually have more than one of these in at a time. And it's been that way for years. I mean, I never put on headphones. I, I stopped that. That's foolish to me. Uh, and then with in-ears, I only put one in. So I always have some idea of what's going on around me. And I just can't break that. Even in my own home, I cannot break that. I just have to have, I, I, I can only keep one in. I can only keep one in. So that sucks. <laughs> but I guess it's a good thing. Sometimes at the range, I'll even just have one of these in under my air protection. So, yeah. Oh, and if you guys don't know your situational awareness slash alert condition colors, I highly recommend you guys look them up because I feel like majority of our country walks around in code white and it's actually both hilarious and terrifying once you understand and see how oblivious people are to what's going on around them. Absolutely crazy. So whether you want to call it situational awareness, alert conditions, street smarts, whatever, whatever have you, just uh, do some research and try not to be that person in code white. So next up on a serious note, for me with my personal growth and just uh, achievements, I like to write things down in a planner. Uh, and this is a Clever Fox planner. I've actually been holding onto this one for probably around four months now. I haven't used it yet uh, because I wanted to start it off in the new year. So that's going to be filled up hopefully this year. Uh, it's probably the most amazing planners that I've personally ever seen. Just check them out, they're really cool. And I know and I get it, this one isn't really one that I carry on my body 24 seven, but it, it's always close. I mean, whether it's my office desk at work or my office here or in the car, it, it's always right there, so. Yeah, that's how important that is to me. Now, something else that should probably be shown or stated as a daily carry item, because I literally can't go anywhere without it, is my EDC belt, which is a Core Essentials uh, EDC belt. Nothing really special about it. It's been with me for years now. It works perfect, and yeah, that's not gonna change. And finally, and lastly, and let's be honest, the only reason why you really even clicked on this video, because that's all you really care about, is my EDC Pew Pew. That's how I get past it. So currently, clear. The main gun in my EDC rotation is the Glock 45. On this 45, we have blacked out American low suppressor height sights. We have the Vortex Venom and the TLR7A. Uh, we have the Overwatch Precision Polydat Trigger. We have the Extended Slide Release and we have the ZevTech Magwell. Also inside, we have a 3.5 disconnector and I do my usual polishing on the internals. And with all of the polishing, we are at a right above a 3.5 pound trigger pull for the most part. Everything I did on it so far is just to make it more efficient as a tool. The holster that I'm using is a Hazmat Holster Works 
holster. This one is actually made for the Glock 19 Gen 5, but obviously it will fit the 45 MOS as well. And I mean, the retention on this thing is just beautiful for lack of a better word. Um, and actually this is after I've loosened it a lot because I like more of a loose retention. I also carry these mag pouches for backup. The most I'll use is two at a time. So I'll have an extra 34 rounds if need be. And I am done. That is how I am starting off 2021. Hopefully you guys found something in this video you liked. If not, it's okay. If you have any questions, just let me know. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one.